what I thought I would do now, I have probably about three minutes left, maybe two, was that I thought like um, Spalding Gray, who I thought for me was, the, you know, just so much this uh, beautiful performance space. He used to do a thing where he would interview an audience member, and I thought when I used to come here, I thought, I really want to get down there and, I don't know, emote, and I wanted attention probably. <laughs> and I thought that maybe there's someone here who's never performed here on, and would like to, and, and not so much perform, but just sit down for a moment and tell me a problem you might have. I still can't make eye contact. I'm like, I'm like a, I don't know, somebody with, I don't know, some kind of personality <laughs> disorder. <laughs> but, um, so I thought if uh, someone who's never performed here would like to come down and just tell me a problem they have, and then I might tell them a problem I have, and then that would be our, our little piece. Uh, you know, because we mostly we come here, you know, to hear about problems and, you know, uh, stuff. So is there anyone in the audience who's never performed here who would like, who would like just would like to be down here for a moment and never has? Is someone coming forward? Uh, so, yeah, just, yeah, come around right here. Okay. Maybe, you know, you, someone else could come and just listen like a silent family member. I don't know. I don't want to exclude anyone, especially here. I was happy about the whole marriage thing, but personally, I'm like so frightened. I, I'm not. I don't know what I am, but I don't ever want to get married. <laughs> I don't mean to be a raid on anybody's parade, but the Divine Parade is a solo, tormented, middle class, pathetic thing. Anyway, have a seat over here. Oh, no, wait. I think you're over here. Okay. Thank you. And this is my last shred of vodka here. I was saving it. Anyone, some people might identify it. Just that little bit of placebo effect, you know, might get me through the next moment. Okay, so what's your name, first of all? My name's Elliot Reich. Elliot Reich, is yeah. that one name? No. Oh, no, but yeah. that's, that's two. First, yeah. first name's Elliot, yeah. last name Reich. Yeah. You don't have to give out your last name, it's probably best not to if you say it. <laughs> well, that last name. But you've never performed here, and this is your first time on, on here? Uh, yeah. You know, performing, sort of? Yeah. In an honest, vulnerable way. So, um, <laughs> well, just do you do? You, is there a problem you'd like to talk about? Because you know they say if you talk about your problems, yeah. it's helpful. Um, you know. Yeah, that's what my brother's been saying. He's going through an existential crisis right now. Um, well, I'm, I'm, I, I don't mean to interrupt immediately, brother. like Dick no, Cabot. I don't want to hear about your brother. It's about you. Oh. <laughs> you know, we should have a little antagonism. Um, keep things. You know. um, <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm a. I'm going into my third year in, in mm. theater school mm -hmm. and and having a wonderful, beautiful. Um, sort of fairy tale life, being able to come to spaces like this and see wonderful performers, and um, and uh, I have a lot of passion for watching these kinds of, of works, and, and I'm studying as a director. Mm -hmm. And I guess my problem is I'm I'm 20 and I'm I'm not sure exactly what I want to be making and what I want to be saying, but I, I see so much and I'm moved by so much, and I guess I'm just at that place where I think I should know and have like a pillar and be like mm. putting my pillar in front of people and being like, look at this, it's glitter, it's full of glitter and paint and be inspired. Did anything dark happen in your childhood? <laughs> <laughs>